right, so just got out of another successful day in the office. I hope that you guys are all having an outstanding day. Came into work this morning and it was gorgeous outside and now it's just overcast and crappy. Just when you're starting to jive with some warm weather and the expectation and anticipation that warm weather is just around the corner, a snowstorm hits. They call it a nor'easter and you know what it is what it is. The moisture is increasing in the air and the low pressure systems are still out and about. Colder weather is still amidst and that creates snow. So the funny thing about this is, is I'm actually headed out to Colorado and you guys are gonna be coming with me for a short vacation to go skiing in Breckenridge. I actually have a great surprise that's gonna be coming either in this video or another video. I haven't quite figured that out yet, which I think you guys are really going to enjoy. To visit some friends of ours that you are all incredibly familiar with. Now, I'm not gonna give away all the details just yet, but with that being said, you guys can obviously see we are in Bart the Studious Savage. Just a little bit of an update on him. The check engine light is off once again. Went, turned on, turned back off, turned back on. I have no idea what's right, what's wrong, what's left, what's right. We just kind of roll with it at this point. So you guys can see here in the back that we have the traction bars, Whirly Fab traction bars, and in that little, and in that little box right there, we've got my extended lug nuts, which we are dropping off for powder coat. So we're gonna head on over there to the shop. Got out of work a little bit late today, so I don't know if I'll actually be able to get inside to visualize the colors with all of you, which I was hoping that I'd be able to do. We might be able to run into somebody that's at the shop, but if we don't, we're gonna go ahead and drop the parts off because they're gonna get powder coated a new color to jive with the new visions that we're making to the overall color scheme of the Duramax. The weekend of the 18th, we are gonna be installing the new turbo kit. So getting really excited about that. It's gonna be a great time. You guys are absolutely gonna love what's next. So let's head on over to the powder coating shop. We'll see if they're available. If they are, we will jump into reviewing a few potential colors that I'm considering powder coating the parts behind me here. And if they are not there, that's okay, because then we're gonna jump over to my house because I have some, yes, some more modifications for the Z06 that we're gonna go ahead and install. So let's get into the video. All right, I might have slightly lied. We had to make one quick pit stop along the way. And that is at Westy's Speed Shop because as I got into my car, I totally forgot this morning when I was loading my bars up without any coffee in my system that I didn't pull the bushings and the hardware off of. Westy? 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 No idea. I'll just go ahead and make myself at home. It's what friends do. Now guys, speaking of Whirly Fab, they've actually granted me a free shipping discount code that any one of you guys can use. All you guys have to do is enter enthusiast upon checkout and you will get free shipping no matter what you're purchasing. Whether it's a screen for your turbo filter or or it's a complete turbo kit or traction bars or anything. And all that information's down in the description below. I know I spell my brand enthusiast just a little bit weird. So I wanted to give you guys the answer key. Well, this is the perk of having a good buddy that's got a shop. He even had the entire drawer open for me. What a nice guy. We'll go ahead and grab this sucker right here and get this process started. Westy, what's up, buddy? Finally found you, man. I was looking all over earlier. I had no idea where you were. You are the man, buddy. What's going on? How are you? Oh, uh, good. What are you changing color or what are you doing? Yeah, we're changing color already. Long time no see with these things, right? I feel like we just installed them like uh, to go. Don't they match your turbo? Yes, but I'm getting a new turbo. Uh, the easy part, getting the hardware off the end is not a big deal. The bushings, on the other hand, they can be a little bit more of a pain in the ass. Oh my God, goals. One day, boys. One day. Maybe one day soon. Thank you, Westy, as always, buddy. You bet. If you guys haven't already, definitely check out Westy Speed Shop. on Cars, Instagram, and uh, Westy Speed Shop on Facebook. Go ahead and check him out. All his information is in the description below. Now we're actually going to drop these parts off 
So it looks like we'll be able to review some colorways with you guys real quick. And for powder coating, definitely give Barker's a buzz. So what is it guys, Street Speed's new frame already getting powder coated, looks like he's not wasting any time. So there are some of the basic color guys. Take a guess at what color I might be going with. I'll let you decide from there. And then I'll take you all down here too and this is some of the more, I guess, uh, yeah, well, me two stage metallic two-stage well. colors. And then you've got some of your just kind of generic base colors, I guess you could call those. So here, guys, take a guess. I'm not gonna go ahead and give away anything, but you do have an array of different color options here. And then here are just a few more colorways for you guys. I wanna put all the options in front of you to get you all thinking. So you guys can go ahead and take your best guess below in the comments to say what color I might be going with for the traction bars for the Duramax. Like I said, big thanks to Barkers, and now we are headed back to the house. And we are back in the Enthusiast World headquarters to knock out these Corvette modifications, rocking the no warranty, no worries, right in front of the giveaway Grom here if you guys haven't gotten entered, or if you are interested about that giveaway, you guys can check that out. First link in the description below. So my good buddy Cole at Vent Lights sent me out a nice little surprise. I wanna say thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate that. Vent Lights, all of the lighting accessories that I've added on the Corvette so far, we've got the, the paint match kind of ghosted LED front side markers. I have the LED front fog lights. We got the LED, LED ghosted paint matched rear side markers. And of course, the eagle eye tail lights. These things are iconic for bringing a classic car up to life. And what was cool was he took it upon himself to send me a few more items. So inside the box, we got some Vet Lights bottle openers. Can never have too many of those. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna toss one right over here to my little mini fridge. We've got these two Manila packages, which I was honestly way too anxious to not open up, so I apologize, guys. We got some license plate LEDs. Looks like these things snap in some way or another. We're gonna have to figure that out. Plus, we've got some more LEDs, which are for the reverse lights. A lot of you guys have been saying that I need them on this car, especially because the reverse lights are so big on the rear. An added bonus, guys, this video, you can get 10% off your entire purchase with vent lights with discount code enthusiast. Yes, enthusiast, you type that in right when you've added all those epic parts to your cart and you guys can get 10% off. Look at that as a token of my appreciation for you guys. Is I'm going to be adding in discount codes for all the companies that I work with in the description just started so we've got Whirly Fab down there and we've got Vet Lights but I am working with a bunch of other awesome companies that are willing to give you guys discounts for being my audience pretty cool stuff so keep that in mind if you guys are in the market for parts for either your Duramax your Cummins aka your diesel or a Corvette I got you guys so before we get started here guys I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration of what they look like stock so you got the reverse lights and the license plate lights ready so it's that nice incandescent, yellowy, huey, ugly, call it what you will. Here's an example of the vet light side marker and the front side marker as well. So first things first, you're gonna wanna remove these two screws. It's a size 15 Torx. You got the one, two, and then the three, four on the left side. So we'll pull that down real quick. So once you have the four screws removed, you guys can see them right there. You basically get these two little ballasts that pop out. So once you have the bolt pulled out, you can see it's a relatively simple little plug and play operation. Now before we go ahead and put everything back together, we can give it a quick test, probably blind myself in three, two, one. Yep, that works. Otto, what do you say, buddy? You approve? Good boy. That gives you a stellar representation between that old faded nonsense and what a new LED can do. All right, step one, good and done. Look at that difference. Oh yeah, definitely makes a difference. I like it, I like it a lot. Otto, what do you think? No comment? I'm blowing off the blog right now, dude. So I swapped over this one. It's kind of an awkward process. There's the fender liner comes to right about here and then there's an opening right about here that you can actually reach your arm up and around and through. So basically did that all with one hand, wasn't too bad. And now I can give you guys a nice little difference comparing the LED to the non-LED. Ready, set. So there you guys can see, really cleans up the rear of the car. Plus, the lighting exposure is exponentially better than that of this incandescent bulb. I mean, check that out, guys. Overall, it just looks way better. 
Now we can officially say goodbye to the stock pieces of crap and we have great lighting now, look at that. So thanks a lot, Cole at Vet Lights. Really appreciate it, buddy. Look at that, auto is lit up like it's daytime back here, boys. I apologize that I didn't bring up the Colorado content in this video. We're meeting up with somebody that has relation to the products that are set forth behind me. Now there's a lot of different names behind me, so I'm gonna leave that to you guys to guess. And it's gonna be a really neat trip. Plus I'm gonna highlight a whole bunch of my trips. Snowboarding, I said skiing earlier on in the video, but I am a snowboarder. I've snowboarded for years, started skiing, and then I picked up snowboarding and haven't really turned back since. So, you know, I'm a man that likes to do a lot of stuff, whether it's mountain biking, gromming, used to motocross, cars, hunting with the bow, snowboarding. I like to do a lot of things. And, and so, so with that said, my like league, love you guys, you know that. Do what you do best. You guys have not been letting me down. We've been getting tons of likes on videos. I appreciate every single one of those thumbs up possible. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, definitely go ahead and do so. I promise you guys won't regret it. And I promise you guys, I will see you in the next upload. Take care. Thank you.